Hey everyone, this is the second demo video for Wagon Wheel. Um, you're going to want to have your, you're definitely going to want to have your little uh, cheat sheet of your quilt squares um, with you in front of you. This one is probably the hardest one to do just because it, it has so many little pieces that fit together in a certain way. There is a pattern, however, it doesn't look like there's one. It gets kind of spiky as you go. You're going to start with your little cross X guy in the middle, okay? You're going to get a black paper from me. You want to get that first. You're the only demo that does this first, really. So you're going to look on both sides, decide which side you want to do. You're going to take a white colored pencil and you're going to write your name on the side that's the one you don't want to show. And then put your class name, whoever your teacher is. I'm going to do hounds for this one. Okay, and flip it to the good side. You want to put this in the middle as best as you can in the X formation, not the plus. Okay, you want the X. So I'm going to pick which side I like that's best, glue down the bad side, or not as nice side. I'm using the purple Elmer's glue. I think it works better. There is the clear glue, the like white glue you can use, but I just think the purple is stronger. If you want to use a stick or a liquid glue, you can. Um, however, it's going to get a little gunky on you, but just need to press down the stick glue really well and it'll hold. Okay, so right in the middle, that's where I need it. Now, this is where it gets complicated. Before you glue anything else down, you need to make sure that you set these up in a certain way. So I'm going to create um, pairs. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set these guys up around on my table, or you can grab a drawing board if you want. If that helps, you can sit on the floor and do this. Um, wherever you want to be is really fine, but you want it to make it look like this little, almost like a shield, okay? Got some Hogwarts colors going on in here. It's kind of funny. All right, and then I would just go ahead and lay them all out like that. You're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to need eight pairs of these. All right, so once you get that, you're ready to go ahead and set this up. Now, this is, if you need to rewatch this over and over again, I would highly recommend it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my red, or my darker side, whatever, whatever the left side is, and I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on it, and I'm going to glue it right here. And what's gonna happen with yours is they're gonna go off the black and it's totally fine. We're not gonna worry about that. As long as we can get these guys around here, that's the important thing. Then I'm gonna take my other color and I'm gonna line them up in the shield just like I lined up the other guy. And you want, it's okay if they overlap a little bit, absolutely fine, okay? Then I'm gonna take another shield, take my red color here, my first color, glue it. I like to pick it up directly and put it on the glue. That way I don't mess up my direction. I don't like to flip it around. And I'm going to overlap. And these are not perfect, so they are going to be a little staggery. They're going to look a little funny sometimes, but it's totally fine. Okay. Again, picking it straight up, putting it on the glue, gluing it. Okay, overlapping it just a little bit there. All right. Then, I'm going to go to my next corner. I'm going to do all of my shields, and then I'm going to do my middle part. Okay. Okay, once you get these guys, it's a little bit easier from here, but it's still gonna get a little complicated. So what I would do is look at your wagon wheel 
and in between, you can see your shields, in between your shields, you see a dark and a light. That basically means you're going to take the other, the two colors again, and they're going to make a V. And you're going to line them up here, and I would go ahead and line them up and then glue them down. So you're going to go around and line these all up. We need to wash our hands, wash our hands, because it's going to get very gluey here. Okay. Make my V, line them up. Make my V, line them up. Make your V, line it up. Okay, now go ahead and glue it and then you're done. Okay, not perfect, but hey, that is a very complicated pattern and that looks pretty good to me. You want to have these squares and you want to have these black diamond shapes all around. If you do that, you're golden. All right, flipping it over, you're going to take a tool called a Baron. And this is a printmaking tool, so it's going to help you press all that glue together and really make it nice and flat. And I will be pressing these after too. You want to roll it in little circles. Around, I would stand up and do this. You want to use all that sh good shoulder and back muscles, okay? I would count to 30 while doing this and then flip over and nice and flat and clean. And there you have it.